I'm Trevor J. Wilson, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to bake this European peasant loaf. Let's get to it. First, we want to make our ottilies. We're going to mix together all of the flour and all of the water. We're going to let this sit for one to two hours. The longer the better. I let this one sit for two hours. And all you want to do is mix it up into a shaggy clump. You're not trying to develop any gluten here. Once your flour and water have come together and everything is evenly incorporated, you're done. No need to mix it any further. Just set it aside for one to two hours covered. Now add your salt and your starter. Begin by spreading out your starter, then dimple it into the dough. And now we can start mixing it in. We're going to start by mixing this for 8 to 10 minutes. It takes a little shoulder strength, but power through it, it'll be done in no time. Then go ahead and take a break for 10 minutes, you're probably going to need it and then come back for another five minutes of mixing at the end. Folding, be sure to first wet your hand to prevent the dough from sticking. For your first fold, it's okay to use a little extra force to make the dough tight. But as the dough begins to rise, you need to be increasingly more gentle with each fold. When pre-rounding your loaf, first turn the dough just like you were when you were folding. This will help to release it from the sides of the bowl and allow you to tip it right out onto the bench. Now go ahead and just pre-round your loaf into a nice taut pool. Now this is a soft and sticky dough, so you need to be careful when you shape. After it's shaped, you want to place it seam side down into a linen lined, lightly floured basket. You need to make sure the seam is down in order to get that explosive volcanic top on the finished loaf. The seam is now on top, so no need to score your loaf. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time, cheers.